What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about how I set up my workout calendar um, for the month of January, how it helped me stay on track, stay consistent for the month, and it is February now, so I stayed consistent throughout all of January by doing this method, and it worked for me, so I'm just going to share it with you guys to see like if you guys want to try it out, because it could work pretty well for you with how I set it up and everything and just by like scheduling um the day into your calendar making it like this is what you're doing this day so I'm going to stick to it because I already have it planned into my day so if you're interested in watching that then keep watching make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and let's just jump right into the video okay so i hope you guys like this setup over here i kind of like it with just the plain background in the gym and it's got pretty good lighting at this time of day so i kind of like this spot okay so let's jump right into what I did for the month of January. So what I used was a calendar, a planner, my phone, and just like some markers and pens just to like stay like scheduled. So I'm going to show you guys the first thing was this calendar. So I bought this calendar from Dollar Tree. So it was only a dollar. And this was my schedule for the month. So I scheduled it all in. So I have my goals at the top. So if that's like helpful, like write out like some like little quotes or whatever. I wrote my goals was to work out five days a week three lower body days a week and then two upper body days a week and then if you depending on how you want to do your schedule you can like add cardio in as like part of your workout for the day or have it as a separate day so for new year's day which was the first of course of the month um from the first second and third and then until the fourth there was a power outage and we didn't have any power at our house but what i did was where i was staying at they had some gym equipment so for the first day new year's day i did just jump rope that was like the only thing that i did for the day and then two days prior to that i also did jump rope so i was doing 15 minutes of jump rope per day just like to start up for the year and then on the January 2nd, I did like a full leg day and the jump rope. And then on the 3rd, I used that as a rest day. And then finally on the 4th, where it was the whole week, I started scheduling that in. So the program that I've been following is Olivia Marcarelli. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right now. She put it in one of the comments. Um, I'm going to open up the PDF. So I have, it's called her hourglass guide and it's the gym guide. So what I did was I opened up the guide. So if you're following a guide, I would recommend following a guide and completing it all the way through. And then you can schedule that out in your calendar for as long as the program is. If it's an eight week guide then you can schedule the whole eight weeks in so you're all set for the eight weeks and you're not going to miss say you can't do it that day or whatever you can schedule around that which makes it a lot easier obviously everything's not set in stone if you miss a day no big deal just move that workout to another day or whatever you can do obviously you need rest days in between um I'm not saying to do five days a week. That's totally up to you. If you guys want to do less days, like if you're just getting started two to three days a week, one day a week, whatever you can do, whatever is going to get you towards the goal that you want, that's up to you. These are the goals for me, so I want to make sure that I schedule 
them in according to my own goals so obviously your guys' goals are going to be different so schedule that in and take that into consideration when you're doing this so i'm going back all the way to the first week so it goes lower body one upper body one lower body two upper body two and then lower body three so that so the five days a week and then i just schedule that in as Monday upper body, Tuesday lower body, Wednesday upper body, Thursday lower body, and then I scheduled Friday as a rest day slash evaluate my workout schedule to see if I liked it set up like this, how I felt like working out straight four days in a row and then taking one rest day, and then my last leg day on Saturday. So what I did was, yes, I did my, see, that's another thing, like, if you're trying to set up your workout schedule and you're like, um, well, I can't remember how many days I worked out, I worked out pretty good this month, like, I don't really know what I did, but if you have it written out into a schedule or on your calendar, then you know you can go back to this date, like, I didn't even remember that I did this workout this day and I just wrote into the calendar what i did legs leg day squats hip thrusts uh, romanian and then lunges deadlifts so and then i went into the next week which i made sunday um i wrote it in my schedule as a lower body day but because i did the legs the day before i changed it to upper body and then lower body so sunday has turned into an upper body day for me and Monday is turning into lower body so then of course it kind of like changed my schedule just made it to switch days in between so then Tuesday was my upper body Wednesday was my lower body and then Thursday um what I did was I used that as a rest day I wrote it in though and the good thing about like writing it in and being able to change your schedule is that you know you have to schedule that workout into another day. So that's what's also helpful about having it written out. Um, and then Friday was upper body day. And then Saturday I ended it with lower body day. And then this next week um, I had three rest days and then I had four days on. So I only did, instead of five days, I did four days and then three rest days in a row because I was doing some stuff over this weekend. So I just did jump roping and then a short workout this day, legs and abs, upper body and abs, and then legs again. So it was my, I had two leg days. I don't know, see, I didn't write in this one. I put short workout. I don't know what I did this day because I didn't, write it in so that's what's helpful about making sure to write it in if you didn't follow a like an actual plan that day then write in what you actually did so then i took that sunday off and then this was the final week of january so it was the 25th through the 31st and what i did was upper or lower body and abs upper body and abs, lower body, no abs this day, I gave that a rest, upper body and abs on Thursday, and then jump rope and legs on Friday, treadmill for 30 minutes, Saturday and abs, so I didn't do upper body or lower body, I did abs and just the treadmill, and then um, on the 31st right here, that was Sunday, I did the treadmill for an hour. I just watched like um, like some YouTube videos. I watched a show and I just did it on a nine and a half incline and like a 2.5 speed. So just like pretty low intensity, but like on a high incline. Um, I did, so I did the treadmill, the abs and upper body that day. And then today is 
February 3rd. I wanted to do this video yesterday, but I didn't get around to it because I filmed a workout and what I eat in a day. So I have all of February open. So I want to get this all filled in so I could put this calendar back up because I keep it out here in the gym. That way I know exactly what I'm doing. I have it right out here to be able to see it. So if you guys work out at home, put it in the area where you work out. If you guys work out at the gym, put it on your refrigerator or wherever, like you're gonna be able to see it. So it's like in sight, like in your mind, like you see it, you think about it. If it's out of sight, out of mind, you don't think about it. So one thing, if you want to, it's up to you. Get like colorful Sharpies so you can have it like decorated. Um, what I did last month, I started it with a colorful and then I only brought one Sharpie out to the gym with me. So then it was like all this orange color. So this month I'm going to fill in my entire schedule all at once and then do different colors for different weeks just so it looks nicer. And then I want to write my goals up here for the month and what I want to do for myself. So for sure try to do something like that. So that's the first thing that I wanted to show you guys. So okay. So the second thing that I have been doing and I'm trying to get very, very consistent about is planning. So writing everything out. I keep this out. Like if I were, like I like to have stuff like put away in my house and like not a mess everywhere. But like if I were to put this away, then I honestly would just forget about it and not really try to write in it or try to do anything with it. So if I don't write in this, for like the month like i filled this out most of the month if i don't write in it for like the day like this then i write in it like throughout the month like what i have going on youtube videos what i'm going to do with youtube um like i did my juicing video and then i wrote out like the recipes in here my juicer and then like everything i needed to do um another thing that's helpful is if you guys are tracking your food intake um sometimes you can't get it into my fitness pal right away or you don't want to like search for the foods or whatever in my fitness pal because sometimes the foods are off or whatever it is um i've been writing them down like on the side right here just jot it down really fast and then like um write like my workout that I did, how long I did it, um, what I need to do with YouTube, read for 15 minutes, make sure I track my food, have my vitamins, stuff like that. So if that would help you guys, then check out getting a planner. I got this planner, all these $7.99, super cheap. So like we're literally in this like $8 and a dollar for the calendar to keep you on schedule for the whole year. And then what's nice about this is that it has like this goals. Let me see, an empty one. It has a goals section. So if you're interested in getting this one, I was at Aldi's yesterday and they did still have them. So just check around your Aldi's. But I'm sure there's a lot of planners like TJ Maxx, Marshall, stuff like that. There's like a goal section. So you write this out every month. If you have like different goals, whatever you want your goal to be for that month you put your goal and then you put your steps in that you're going to do to be able to help you reach that goal so if you have a huge goal for the end of the year break it up into each month into your smaller goals so that will be a lot more helpful for you guys and then there's like a tasks projects and then like a planning section right here and then like birthdays important dates and then the whole month overview. And then each day where you can actually write into like throughout the day, like what you need to do, what you want to get done. And like I said, it is a good idea to track that. Oh, and then like there's like fun stickers and stuff in the back. So like if that it's something you guys like, like the colorful like markers or colored pencils, whatever stickers to be able to put it on there so you 
I don't know, you get like excited about doing stuff like that or it like motivates you more to like stay on track, write in your journal or planner and your calendar and all that, like try that out and see if it helps you. Okay, so what I suggest you guys do when you fill this out is fill it out for like the whole month so that way you can see exactly what you need to do for the month. If you're on a, like a guide, if you're following a guide or whatever you're following, um, make sure you open that up, see what exactly is on it, and that way you're actually following it, putting it into the dates, and that I feel like that will help a lot more. So I'm going to start.
Okay, so I'm going to end off the video here. I hope this was helpful for you guys to see what I do to stay like accountable and to keep myself on track with my workouts and so I can see progress throughout the year instead of going month by month thinking that I'm making progress and then I'm not actually going anywhere. So I feel like this can be so helpful for you if you try this out. Make sure to let me know and leave it in the comments below like if you're going to try this, if you're going to try to do like a calendar or schedule, whatever will work for you best. Some people like it digitally too. I'm not one of those kind of people. Like I think it'd be okay to do it on my phone, but I feel like I like to like actually write it down on paper so I can see it and check it off and all that kind of stuff. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.